Welcome to Prove Complete. Our kit is designed to track four key hormones that impact your cycle and fertility. Inside your test kit, you'll find three follicle-stimulating hormone tests, 17 multi-hormone tests that measure E1G, LH, and PDG, a Prove app card, and instructions. Let's walk you through an example testing protocol. It's important to note that testing should always begin on the fifth day after the start of your period, which we will call cycle day five. If you receive your kit after cycle day five or miss cycle day five testing, don't worry. You can start your testing protocol in the next cycle. On cycle day five, you will test using both reserve and multi-hormone tests to establish your baseline. You will then use the remaining reserve tests on cycle days seven and nine during the reserve window. You'll then begin using multi-hormone tests to identify your fertile window. The day you begin testing is determined by the cycle data you entered into the app. During this period, the app will identify the opening and closing of your fertile window and your peak fertility. After your fertile window closes, the app will use the date of your peak fertility or LH surge to determine when implantation window testing should begin. You'll then be prompted to test on days 7, 8, 9, and 10 past peak fertility to check for successful ovulation. It's very important to test all four days regardless of the initial results in order to get your ovulation score. Once you receive your Prove Complete Kit, let's get started by downloading the Prove Insight app. You'll be prompted to input some basic cycle data and the Prove Insight app will create a personalized testing schedule just for you. Be sure to turn on your app notifications so you never miss a testing day. On cycle day five, it's time to take your first FSH test and one multi-hormone test using your first morning urine. The multi-hormone test taken on cycle day five is essential in identifying your baseline hormone levels, which serve as a starting point for each cycle. This step is crucial as it allows us to accurately track and assess changes in your hormone levels throughout your cycle by providing a reference point. You'll also take your first FSH test on cycle day five. This test provides valuable insight into your ovarian reserve, giving you an idea of how many eggs you have left. You'll continue with two more FSH tests on cycle days seven and nine. Remember, every hormone fluctuates, so it's important to test on all three designated days. After completing all three reserve tests, you'll receive your ovarian reserve status. Next, we'll focus on identifying your fertile window. Using the cycle data you previously inputted, the Prove Insight app will guide you on the exact day to begin testing for your fertile window. During this phase, you'll take one multi-hormone test each day using your first morning urine. This test helps us monitor changes in E1G, an estrogen marker, LH, luteinizing hormone, and PDG, a progesterone marker. A rise in E1G indicates that your fertile window is opening, which means it's a great time for intercourse or insemination. Keep testing daily with the multi-hormone tests. When you see your LH surge, this will count as your peak fertility. It's a great time to try again and will also help time implantation window testing with PDG correctly. This surge also marks the beginning of the day's past peak count, which becomes important in the second half of testing. Even after a surge in LH, continue testing each morning with the multi-hormone test until the app detects a rise in PDG. This indicates the end of your fertile window. Any intercourse after this point is less likely to result in conception. Make sure to save four multi-hormone tests for the implantation window, which is days seven, eight, nine, and 10 after your LH peak. If you find yourself running low or running out of tests before the implantation window, please contact us. We're here to help. While the first part of your cycle involves a lot of testing, we believe the real proof magic happens during the implantation window. Our app will guide you to test on four key days in the luteal phase, known as the implantation window. During these four days, we'll closely monitor your PDG levels to develop your ovulation score. 
This score provides an assessment of your PDG levels after ovulation so you know whether or not you successfully ovulated that cycle. Higher PDG levels allow for higher chances at conception, and lower PDG levels may make it a little more difficult to successfully conceive. While you'll receive individual PDG values each day within the testing window, we recommend waiting till you have all four tests before drawing any conclusions about your levels. Remember, your hormones can fluctuate slightly from day to day, so it's important to consider the overall pattern and take all four tests into account. Once you've completed all four days of implantation window testing, you'll receive your personalized ovulation score and downloadable PDF hormone report. This comprehensive report provides an overview of your hormones throughout your cycle, along with your ovulation score and key hormone balance ratios. We always recommend bringing your at-home testing data to your doctor. Together, you can develop the best plan based on your unique results, situation, and medical history. If you have any questions before, during, or after testing, please don't hesitate to reach out to our dedicated customer support team. We're here to help you every step of the way.